Cuba's future may be getting brighter, but its southern neighbor, Brazil, is in the middle of a brutal economic slowdown, and that's leading to a type of growth that the government cannot af afford to ignore. Paulo Cabral explains. Brazil's 2010 official census counted almost 2.2 million people living in slums in the greater Sao Paulo area. There's been no official tracking of the population since then, but in many areas there's been a clear surge of arrivals as the country's economic crisis has worsened, causing unemployment and inflation to go up. I used to live elsewhere, but then rental prices started to go up and I could not afford it anymore, so I had to come and live here. It has happened to many other people. This community leader says the population in the Tikwatira slum rose from some 500 families about one year ago to more than 2,500 now. With the growth in unemployment and rise in interest rates, lower classes have more difficulties to buy their houses and the government's budget cuts have affected subsidized housing programs for the poorest, so all solutions have been postponed. We are likely to see growth in the number of people living in slums over the next years. The growing number of people resorting to life in São Paulo's favelas could be due to the country's economic slowdown. However, Urban planning experts and municipal authorities say this city's housing shortage is a serious problem that needs to be addressed with long-term solutions. Nabiu Bonduki is an urban planner now serving as co-chair secretary for the city of Sao Paulo. He says the city government recognizes the need for more investment in housing projects, but that the current economic climate saves little room for optimism. With the growth in unemployment, more people from different parts of the city are moving here because there was space. But now we have decided we won't allow more families to settle here because there's simply no more room. The economic crisis did not create the slums in Sao Paulo, but their expansion, brought on by the economic slowdown, make a permanent solution to poverty here seem ever more elusive. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.